Greetings. Prince Harry has arrived in London. Of course I couldn't get past this news and here's what information I found for you. The day before, the Duke of Sussex arrived in the UK by private jet from the United States to take part in a preliminary hearing of a confidentiality breach case in the High Court in London. Even the lawyer representing the prince in the case confirmed that Harry had not been summoned by the court, did not intend to appear in court, and that his presence was entirely unnecessary. Moreover, a closed online broadcast was organized so that the prince and the other plaintiffs in the case could watch the preliminary hearing, why fly and spoil the environment at all. At the same time, Prince Harry could hardly expect to meet with his father to discuss his and Meghan's presence at the coronation. It was known in advance that King Charles III was supposed to be on his first official state visit in France at the time of the hearings, from where he would have gone straight to Germany with a similar visit. The visit to France was cancelled rather abruptly. The media reported that Harry did contact his father and tried to beg him for a meeting, but the king turned him down, explaining that he was busy. Buckingham Palace said Monday, the day the hearing began, that the king was not in London. Australian royal expert Daniela Elser said Prince Harry had his own ulterior motives for going to Britain. She wrote for news.com.au First things first. His personal appearance in Britain, only the fifth time in more than three years, was a sure way to ensure serious publicity for the court case. But there is a second. Right now, if more than a million French people hadn't decided to take to their boulevards to burn things to protest President Emmanuel Macron's unilateral raising of the retirement age, Charles and Camille would be in Paris on their first state visit abroad. Harry knew all this well when he made the decision to visit Britain, which meant that he may have booked his tickets, knowing that he would make a splash in London, while his father tried his hand at regal statesmanship for the first time. All in all, amid all the attention on the royal family, Prince Harry intended to pinch off his piece of the pie as well, and perhaps, in the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's long-tested technique, to outbid the royal agenda and pull the blanket of attention over himself. Such showmanship by Harry on the eve of the coronation could have resulted in a rivalry with his father for influence, but unfortunately for the Sussexes, it didn't. What do you think is the real reason for visiting London, 